This presentation introduces GenePrimp, a gene prediction improvement pipeline for quality control of gene models in prokaryotic genomes. With the phenomenal growth in sequencing throughput, more than 1000 microbial genomes have been sequenced to date. Gene finding is the key step that links DNA sequence to inferred gene function, typically by way of comparative analysis with other microbial genomes. Due to the rapidly increasing volume of genome sequence data, gene finding in newly sequenced microbial genomes relies heavily on computational methods and this trend is expected to continue in the future. Together with multiple sequencing technologies, multiple gene finders and somewhat imprecise standards for the identification of genes, this can result in different researchers arriving at substantially varying gene models for the same organism. Consequently, higher standards of accuracy are required for computational gene prediction tools. After finishing, a genomic sequence is processed by ab initio gene callers and RNA finders that work by statistically profiling protein coding, intergenic, and boundary regions. While most ab initio gene callers boast an average accuracy of 90% or better, accuracy can be compromised by many factors such as genomic islands of differing GC content, pseudogenes, and genes with programmed or artificial frameship. This leads to sizable variability between their gene model predictions. It is important that the boundaries of a gene be defined accurately since that determines whether or not the gene is accurately transcribed and translated and whether the associated phenotype is expressed. At the DOE Joint Genome Institute, all newly sequenced genomes go through rigorous quality control of gene models by manual inspection of individual genes by scientists. To determine the most accurate boundaries for a gene, scientists consider the alignment of a gene to its homologs and the presence of elements such as ribosomal binding sites and special in-frame stop codons that can be recorded to amino acids. Here we show the genome of a microbe, Starkia novella, with gene models defined by an ab initio gene caller and visualized using Artemis, a genome visualization and editing tool. To overcome the aforesaid limitations of ab initio gene prediction methods and to aid the process of manual curation of gene models, we have devised GenePrim, a novel computational evidence-based post-processing pipeline that identifies erroneously predicted genes. Manual correction of gene primp reported genes results in a standardized output gene complement of an organism irrespective of the method used for initial gene predictions. Because a typical gene primp report pre-screens a genome to list only the gene definitions that are erroneous, it preempts the scientist's examination of every single gene in a given genome, such as Starkia novella. Without a gene primp report to work with, a DOE JGI scientist would have to examine 4480 gene models. With the gene primp report, they have to examine less than a tenth of that number of genes. So a scientist that is manually curating gene models in Starkia novella will be simultaneously looking at the genome using Artemis and using the gene primp error report as a guide to find anomalous genes and correct them. Now we illustrate some common categories of errors in gene definitions made by ab initio gene callers. ORF 1634 is called shorter on the 5' prime end. We know this from the alignment of the short gene to its homolog and from examinations of the coordinates of the alignment. We find that a broken conserved domain is present at the 5' prime end of this gene. Conserved domains in a gene define the binding site of a regulator protein and or define the function of the protein product of that gene. So it's important that they are whole and complete. When extended by 29 amino acids on the 5' prime end, the overhang is eliminated and a complete conserved domain is found at the 5' prime end, rendering this gene functional. Another common category of gene calling errors is broken gene. In this case, ORFs 943 and 944 have many common homologs. 
Their alignments indicate that two pieces of the same conserved domain, the transregulator C superfamily domain, are present in the two genes. The domain is truncated at the 5' prime end of ORF 943 and at the 3' prime end of ORF 944. Joining these two genes as shown indicates that if a natural or artificial frame shift resulted in this gene being called as two separate genes in two different frames. Joining them also results in a complete conserved transregulator C domain. Ab initio gene callers also sometimes miss calling genes. An example is ORF 1933A, which was reported by Gene Primp as an intergenic region with good homologs. Alignments reveal the presence of a perfectly good gene with conserved domains. Typical errors found by Gene Primp are long and short genes with anomalous start sites, unique and dubious genes that do not have known homologs, broken genes, and genes interrupted by transposases. Gene Primp also identifies missed genes as shown earlier. Details about these anomalies can be found on the GenePrimp website. Anomalies found by GenePrimp can be further mined to find frameshift, pseudogenes and to determine finishing quality. With minor modifications, GenePrimp can be used to find gene call errors in fungal genomes too. GenePrimp is available both as a standalone tool and a web-based application. For the DOE JGI, this is Amrita Pati.